U.S. President Joe Biden begins his official visit to South Korea. First stop for the Commander in Chief, a trip to a chip factory in Pyeongtaek. Yoon Jung Min starts us off. U.S. President Joe Biden landed in Ulsan Air Base late Friday afternoon, opening his first Asia trip as president here in South Korea and the first stop, Samsung Electronics Semiconductor Complex in Pyeongtaek. This is also where he met for the first time South Korea's newly elected President Yoon song nir where the two heads of state were hosted by Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong in a tour of the world's largest semiconductor plant. Marking their visit, Presidents Yoon and Biden signed on the semiconductor wafer instead of the visitor's book. The two leaders visit here underscores the emphasis the two have placed on strengthening economic security alliance from trade to supply chain resiliency and stretching to the realm of high-tech alliance. Today, Biden President's campus visit is a significant economic and security alliance. 의미를 되새길 수 있는 좋은 기회가 될 것입니다. That sentiment echoed by the American president. This is an auspicious start to my visit because it's emblematic of the future cooperation and innovation that our nations can and must build together. The U.S. president said now is the time for the U.S. and like-minded partners to invest in each other, while the South Korean leader expressed hopes for more U.S. incentives to South Korean shipmakers making investments there and encouraged more American firms to tap into the Korean market. Seoul's top office says the two countries will keep communicating through the Semiconductor Partnership Dialogue Channel to bolster cooperation. Slated for Saturday afternoon is the 90-minute-long Yoon Biden bilateral, during which they will focus on the allies' coordinated response against North Korea's provocations and global issues, among others. The two leaders visit here to the semiconductor plant. The first leg of their trip together shows their focus on cooperation in economic security, which will be revisited by the two leaders at their bilateral summit tomorrow. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News, Pyeongtaek.